putting one single molecule into the spectrum we are putting an entire sample so it has many billions and billions and billions of molecules of propane so out of those molecules some some of the atoms in those molecules will be carbon 13 atoms and uh, so for example if this is a carbon 13 atom it's the probability that even this is a carbon 13 atom is very less because the percentage abundance of carbon 12 atoms is the greatest and carbon 12 cannot be detected by the spectrum because it is um, it has an even number of nucleons so simply we have an odd number of uh, nucleo, nu odd number of nucleons for this carbon 13 atom and the neighboring carbon has a very low chance of being a carbon 13 atom and hence it cannot contribute to the splitting similarly with this atom it's re really rare like it's one in a millionth one in a billionth that this carbon atom will be a carbon 13 atom so we do not consider spl splitting we only get peaks like this you will have a separate table in the data booklet for the chemical shift values of carbon 13 NMR spectra. So you can apply the same rules as we did for um, proton NMR spectra and we'll be good to go. Okay, so we'll just, just do a quick exercise because there's nothing more to do in carbon 13 NMR. It's just the same. So uh, yeah, again, we have the same ethane molecule that we had before and uh, Symmetry applies for this as well, carbon 13 as well. Now this carbon atom is the same as this carbon atom. So we will have one peak, all singlets. I'll just erase this and make a better line. Yeah. One peak, all singlets. Yes, the height, the integration uh, still matters. Uh, but still we have one peak. Yeah. So this is yeah the singlet peak one singlet peak integrated to two and uh, no 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 splitting because uh, one if if, the, if if it was proton NMR then we still won't have any splitting because it's the same chemical environment but since this is carbon thirteen NMR we will have no splitting and we will have only one peak because both of these carbon atoms are attached to three hydrogen atoms and to each other so they are the same chemical environment so we only have one peak. Okay, so the next molecule, yeah, so the next molecule is ethanoic acid. Now we have two carbon atoms in this, one is this one and the other one is this one. Um, so this is one carbon environment because three, it is attached to three hydrogen atoms and another carbon atom. This is another carbon environment because it is attached to two oxygen atoms and one carbon atom. So these are totally attached to different groups these two carbon atoms so we will have two peaks integration will be the same because one carbon atom each one and two two peaks and we can use the data booklet to find the chemical shift values for these two peaks okay so we get this molecule again last time we drew the entire structure so we can do it right now as well where is my cursor yeah so um, we have a c atom over here attached to an oh group we have an h 3 c much better than last time an h C and an, and a C H three. Okay, so we have uh, these four carbon carbon atoms in total. Now one will be this. This will definitely uh, have one carbon environment because it is attached to an oxygen and it is attached to CS three CS three group. So it's uh, it will provide me with one carbon environment. Now as we did for the proton environments last time that these three will be the same the carbon environments will also be the same because all three CS3 groups are attached to the same carbon atom so uh, we will have an, a greater integration of course it will be much longer uh, sorry for cutting the molecule but it will be much longer because uh, it is integrated to three while this is integrated to one and um, 
Yeah. So both singlets because no splitting in carbon 13 NMR whatsoever. So yeah, we have.